Hey y'all, welcome to Bee's Intuition. I'm Bee and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy. So we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. So y'all, when I was shuffling this deck, uh, there's um, four cards that slid out. So somebody could be trapped. Uh, this trapezium card also gives me like mailbox energy. Um, it gives me lockbox energy. It gives me, yeah, withholding of information. Um, so somebody could be trapped because of some information that they are withholding um, or some information that they, uh, they don't, that they don't want to come out. So it's kind of like somebody feels like that they're stuck between a rock and a hard place because, um, of some information. This could be, you know, like a dirty secret that don't, that, that they don't want to come out that they've been, yeah, covering up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something about the winter time because this is a winter hat. Mm-hmm. So something could have taken place in the winter time or something could take place by the winter time. But yeah, somebody somebody feels trapped. Somebody feels like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, but it's because of them covering up some stuff. Somebody could be undercover. You know, this could be like an undercover, you know, official. Or this could be like, yeah, somebody like undercover, like on the DL or something like that. Um, somebody's about to be overloaded with some information, with this information station card. Somebody possibly wants to pop up on somebody. Um, to basically, yeah, unload some information on somebody. Somebody bit the bait. Whatever the bait was, somebody, yeah, they bit it. Not only, you know what I'm saying, I feel like that they looked at it, they sniffed it, you know what I'm saying, they looked at it, they sniffed it, and then, yeah, they bit, they took, they bit the bait. They took the bait. So it's something about, yeah, somebody pop, somebody having a chance to walk away or somebody having a chance, you know, to, to reveal whatever this is that they've been holding back. But I feel like it's, it's, it's something that possibly, yeah, this person has been dealing with for a long time. So it could be, yeah, somebody's been covering up the fact that they're bisexual or, you know, something like that. I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, I just heard manly man. So this could, this person could be a manly man. So to them, it would be embarrassing, you know, if, if they basically told people that, you know, they were bisexual or, you know, they like the same sex. But I feel like there could be somebody that possibly could be um, threatening this person to come out. They're threatening to uncover, yeah, some information. So it's kind of like, yeah, this person, they feel, yeah, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Somebody has been lying for a very long time. This could be a Leo. Mm hmm So whoever this person is, they could be a Leo. But it's also, too, kind of like this person, yeah, they've been lying for a long time, you know, about something that possibly happened in the past but they were also lying on somebody so it's kind of like yeah whoever this person is they were lying and gossiping about somebody but they possibly forgot that they had skeletons in their closet or they had uh, some type of deep dark secret you know uh, that they were trying to keep from coming out and I feel like whoever this is that's that's threatening somebody you know what I'm saying to yeah basically uncover some information they're tired of this person lying or something like that. Why are you always lying? <laughs> Stop freaking lying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Holy Spirit, give me another one. I just saw the money, money, money card. So maybe somebody, you know, was just being gay for pay or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, something about somebody's ex. 
So this could be somebody's ex or this person was lying on their ex or something like that. Or somebody didn't reveal their ex to somebody or something like that. This message done started weird already. Mm -hmm. We got the leaving earth card. But it came out in the reverse. So yeah, somebody's coming back to earth. Or something is coming back to life. So like something that was buried and dead. and Or that somebody thought was dead or something like that. It's coming back. I'm going to put it back because it uh, fell on the floor. So yeah, like some deep dark secrets that somebody buried. It's coming back or something like that. And I feel like somebody's going to try to communicate with somebody to be like, yeah, if such and such, you know what I'm saying, pulls up on you or such and such calls you, uh, uh, yeah, um... Uh, uh, don't listen to them. They just lying. You know what I'm saying? This could be a Leo that's threatening somebody. I feel like, yeah, it's it's kind of like somebody is confident. So there has to be some type of truth to something. When it comes to like somebody lying on uh, somebody and forgetting that, um, you know, they have skeletons in their closet or, you know, some type of little deep, dark secret that they don't, they don't want to come out. I feel like, yeah. This person was confident that people were going to believe him. And I feel like that uh, this person sadly mistaken. But it's something about, yeah, people, you know, like amping this person up. You know what I'm saying? To to, to talk about somebody. Um, and I feel like, yeah, it done backfired. Or or it's kind of like, yeah, somebody that somebody don't know possibly could be like, yeah, how you going to talk about that person when, yeah, you're covering up all this information that I'm about to expose because, yeah, you, 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 you're lying too much. So maybe this person has found out that, yeah, this person, maybe this person said that they were gay, but they're really bisexual or they, maybe they don't even like, you know, the same sex. I don't know. But this is a conversation card, but this is also, yeah, taking the stand. Mm -mm. If this is not, you know, uh, dealing with, but I feel like it really does have something to do with somebody being undercover, but it's also too, yeah, undercover cop. So something about an undercover cop lying on the stand or, or, or somebody that's undercover, like, like they're gay or bisexual or lesbian, but they're trying to act like they're not. Yeah. They possibly could have lied on the stand or something about lied when it came to some type of conversation. I really feel like somebody's covering up the fact that, yeah, they either are bisexual or, yeah, they're flat out gay, which nothing is wrong with it, but be proud of it. Be proud of who you are. You know what I mean? It's like a liar out here that does nothing but lie. They lie about their life. They don't lie on the stand. They possibly lie in every conversation that they have. So I feel like somebody needs to be aware of whoever this person is. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is somebody that, yeah, they'll call the next person gay, whether they're gay or not. You know what I'm saying? While this person is, is yeah, trying to hide, you know, the fact that they're undercover or whatever the situation is. But something about, too, yeah, somebody was playing undercover cop or something about an informant is also what I'm picking up. But, but whoever this person is, they, they definitely lied on the stand. So, yeah, they're trapped either way. Mm-mm. Yeah, somebody's back is against the wall. Yep. And somebody knows that they're about to get the big big red book thrown at them. Mm -mm. Why is this trapezium here? Something about, yeah, some somebody can't get over this this obstacle or something like that. Or this is something that, yeah, somebody possibly isn't going to be able to get out of this trap. Because I saw the wander, water over under the bridge card, but it's in the reverse. It slid out. I put it back. So, yeah, the, 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 the bridge is under the water. So it's something about, yeah, somebody done burned a bridge or something like that. Or, yeah, there's no coming back from whatever this is. Somebody Somebody knows it. We got a masculine energy. This is the divine masculine card, but because with all this drama going on, I'm definitely not calling anybody divine masculine until I know for sure, for sure. Because, yeah, something about, yeah, covering up. 
Mask and energy covering up. Trapped. Somebody possibly could receive a letter in the mail. Or something about, yeah, something in the mail. It could be a letter. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody covering up the fact that, you know what I'm saying, uh, that they're really happy. So it's something about, yeah, whatever whatever they were whatever they were whatever are covering up, yeah, it's something that makes them happy. Or it's something about, um, yeah, they, they, they were confident to, to cover this up or they were confident, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that, that some stuff wasn't going to be uncovered or some, or some stuff wasn't going to be dug up. Why is this uh, covering up card here? These hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. If it was upright, it would be loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. So, yeah, these hoes ain't loyal. So yeah, this person is trying to cover up the fact that they ain't that they ain't loyal or something like that. So with that being said, it goes back to yeah, somebody you know communicates with somebody or something like that. Yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna try to beat them to the punch to be like, uh, uh, don't listen to them. They just lying or whatever you know. But they're gonna turn it into you know we went to court you know and they lied on on the stand on me. You know what I mean? And 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 yada yada and baze baze. I feel like somebody needs to be. Prepare because somebody's coming to lie straight up to your face. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. And and the thing about it is, look at this person. They got a smile on their face. This definitely is a masculine energy, but I'm picking up, yeah, karmic masculine. Unloyal karmic masculine. But this, but whoever this uh, masculine energy is, they were unloyal to somebody that possibly was loyal to them. But they're possibly realizing that, yeah, there were other people that wasn't loyal. So it's kind of like if it's not, you know what I'm saying, the person that this person possibly had some type of same sex dealings with, it's somebody that knows that this person has some type of same sex dealings with. And so but somebody definitely is threatening to, yeah, reveal some stuff, unload some stuff, uncover some stuff. Mm hmm. But I mean, yeah, the unloyal card is, is right. Yeah, these hoes ain't loyal. So whoever this mask on energy is, yeah, they ain't loyal. But they but they definitely were spreading around rumors and lies about somebody else not being loyal. I feel like, yeah, somebody wants to expose that. It's kind of giving me, too, like somebody's trying to get back at somebody. But somebody's trying to get back at somebody with the truth. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody's possibly trying to reveal some truth to somebody thinking that they're going to be chosen. So this is like a pick me. I don't know who this person is. I, yeah, I just heard that I'm trying to get chose. Or somebody that's been, you know, uh, laying dormant or, you know, somebody that's been, yeah, watching somebody. Because, you know, this lion card is also like a predator. But I'm not picking up like, like pervert stuff. I'm picking up like, yeah, somebody has been watching somebody possibly studying somebody so somebody needs to be aware because this is somebody that yeah possibly uh i'm not gonna call them obsessed but they they, it, they yeah it's 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 the brink of obsession but yeah with this conversation card yeah somebody wants to have a conversation mm -mm. why is this information station here Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the big red book. So somebody's about to, yeah, get the big red book thrown at them. But it's something about, yeah, it's because, one, somebody lied on the stand. But it's something about, yeah, somebody lying in a conversation with somebody. Somebody, yeah, did some unloyal stuff. Something about, yeah, somebody, not only did they look at the bait, sniff the bait, you know, look at the bait and sniff the bait. Yeah, they took it. So somebody baited somebody in or that's what somebody's doing or somebody needs to be aware of somebody trying to bait them in. Mm-hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to go sit down somewhere. Somebody needs to go take several seats because, yeah, the big red book is out here. But something about, yeah, with this information station and this big red book is giving me, like, yeah, knowledge, wisdom and knowledge. But it's also, too, yeah, a lot of information about some type of legal situation. 
or yeah, somebody is somebody's definitely could be an undercover cop or you know, an undercover informant or something like that. Somebody, but somebody definitely does know the law. So somebody could work in law enforcement. Somebody could could have worked in law enforcement or something about yeah, somebody studying the law, or somebody possibly could have a degree. You know, in like criminal justice or something like that. But it's also too, yeah, somebody definitely was lying to get some to get their big red book thrown at somebody. Why is this lying Leo here? Yeah, somebody took the bait. Somebody with somebody's um uh yo yo at the end of somebody's stream. Somebody basically, yeah, was a puppet. Mm hmm So somebody got their strings pulled because that's what puppets do. You know, the, the puppets with the strings on the back. You know, when you pull them, they make whatever noises or do whatever, you know what I'm saying, uh, they're supposed to do. Yeah, so it's something about, yeah, somebody being, yeah, the yo-yo on somebody's uh, string. So, yeah, that's why somebody's uh, trapped. Somebody, they took the bait and it's going down. It's going down. So I feel like, yeah, it's going down. And somebody wants to have a conversation about it. Mm -mm. Why is this conversation card here? But it's something about, yeah, somebody taking somebody down. Mm -hmm. We got the, um, we got the watching and stalking card. But it's also two, yeah. Somebody definitely could, uh, you know, reveal on the stand who was behind some stuff. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah. But something about, yeah, a conversation about, yeah, somebody being watched or the conversation... Or something about, yeah, getting on the stand and, and basically telling what they saw or something like that. So this could have something to do with an undercover uh, official as well. Mm -hmm. Something too about, yeah, the law. The law going down. I'm picking up like corrupt energy, but I'm also picking up too like yeah, illegal search and seizure or you know, uh, illegal um, you know what I'm saying, like watching somebody for, you know what I'm saying, uh for no reason like they don't have just cause, you know, to be watching somebody or something like that is also what I'm picking up. Yeah, definitely watching somebody's home. December 20th could be significant. Yeah, somebody's about to receive a message of concern. Or somebody already has received a message of concern. But I feel like somebody's going to receive a message of concern. Why is this kind of energy here? But but yeah, so I definitely so with that message of concern card, let me see if I can find it again. Yeah, somebody definitely is going to receive some type of message, which I'll see how this person has uh some type of letter in their hand. So yeah, with that lockbox, somebody definitely could receive some type of message. It could be a masculine energy, or somebody could receive a message from a masculine energy, or like uh, some type of letter. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be on like house arrest or somebody could be like somebody could have an ankle monitor or something like that. Or something could have happened when somebody was on house arrest or when somebody was on an ankle monitor or something like that. I feel like it's some shit. That, that somebody doesn't want people to know that that took place. Um, and I feel like, the, yeah, somebody could be threatening, you know, to reveal it. 
why is this uh, masculine energy here? Yeah, we got a wealthy man. So somebody could receive a letter from a lawyer. Uh, somebody could be born on the 13th of the month. Yeah, it's going down. Something about, yeah, a wealthy man being watched. Or the fact that the matter is, something took place between somebody and a wealthy man. Somebody definitely could be hiring a lawyer. So, I'm also picking up too that, yeah, somebody could have been falsely accused of some stuff. Or, or uh, somebody's charges could be being, like, lessened. Or like, um, what is the word when like somebody is charged with something, but they, but then they go back and they change it to a lesser charge. So maybe that's why somebody's trying to get on a house arrest or like something like that, or like the ankle bracelet or something. Somebody definitely could be hiring a lawyer, but somebody could also be re uh, receiving some type of letter from a lawyer. Uh, it also could, yeah, the letter could, could contain some information about a child. Something about child P-O-R-N as well. So that predator energy definitely did turn into a, a yeah, a pervert. Mm -mm. Or something about, yeah, a childish, immature individual. Why is this, uh, these hoes ain't loyal here? We got toil and labor. Somebody works really, really, really hard. Somebody, yeah, somebody done put some, uh, put blood, sweat, and tears into something. This could be, yeah, like somebody getting a degree. Or this could be like, yeah, somebody, um, you know, studying the law or something like that. I feel like somebody's trying to get free or somebody's trying to get somebody free or something like that. I don't know, but somebody's working really, really, really hard. And it definitely has something to do with some information. But it also has something to do with the law. It's giving me like Libra energy. So you could be a Libra, have Libra in your chart, or there's a Libra involved. Somebody could be 38 years old. Somebody could be born in 1983. Somebody could be 31 years old. Mm-hmm. We got a mature woman. So there could be a mature woman. This mature woman could be a Leo. This lion Leo or something about, yeah, um, this mature woman allows some stuff to take place. And this mature woman could be going down. But it's something about the past. So, yeah, something about the past. This mature woman could also be threatening to um, reveal some information. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. June the 13th could be significant. Why is this big red book here? Yeah, we have gift. Mm -mm. Somebody definitely is about to receive something. But it's for, yeah, somebody's hard work. So somebody's hard work is about to be, uh, it's about to pay off. But it's something about, yeah, somebody uh, studying the law when it comes to certain things. Because this, this gift card is giving me, like, with the law and uh, the information station, something about, yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. So, yeah, AIDS. So, I don't know. Yeah, somebody is um, has it and they've been spreading it around. And somebody doesn't know or or somebody could have it and, 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 and that's what they're withholding from somebody or some people that they have, you know, AIDS. I don't know, but some stuff is going down. It's, 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 whatever, it's a whole lot. You know what I mean? 
I'm just hearing a whole lot. It's a whole lot going down. It's crimes being committed. It's people uh, hiding serious stuff. It's people telling lies to, to get people, yeah, thrown under the prison. It's all type of stuff. But I feel like because I'm picking up the energy that somebody is working, trying to work on getting free or working on, you know, getting on, uh, like, house arrest or, you know, like, uh, with an ankle monitor or something like that. It could be that, yeah, somebody was lying. So, so somebody could have lied on the stand and somebody could be locked up. If they're not locked up, then, yeah, somebody's lawyer could just be working really hard, you know, to, to possibly, yeah, get lesser charges or, you know, uh, to get somebody be able to be on house arrest or something like that. But, yeah, we have the family room. So, yeah, it's secrets. Something about a 13-year-old, a 17-year-old, a 21-year-old. It's going down in a family. So something about, yeah, some a conversation that some people done had or that people are having or many conversations. I feel like, yeah, people are having some unloyal conversations. So I don't know. It's something about, yeah, people lying. Somebody works really hard. I don't know what people were saying about somebody but somebody works really hard somebody's yeah but but people are about to watch somebody's hard work pay off uh while they while they while they plan while they you know what i'm saying laughing yeah laugh now cry later energy so whoever these people are i feel like that they had their laughing time and now yeah these people are about to cry because yeah the big red book is about to be thrown at somebody while somebody else yeah receives you know what i'm saying some type of pay offer or you know what i'm saying yeah somebody's gonna physically see their hard work you know what i'm saying what what they get out of working hard or what what they get out of you know what i'm saying Staying out of the drama or, you know, being a selfless individual or, you know, minding their own business, whatever. Yeah. But it's something about, yeah, somebody's hard work paying off. Yep. And and somebody else or some people, oh, yeah, they're about to be in despair. Because it's something about, yeah, people uh, watch somebody be in this despair energy. Maybe that's what these people were talking about as well. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody was in a position at a point in their life where they didn't have a job or, you know, where they possibly didn't have a home or something like that. Yeah, so I'm picking up. Yeah, somebody's bounce back game could be strong, but I feel like it, it's it, somebody else's bounce back game ain't strong. Mm-hmm. Yep, we got the journey card in the reverse. So somebody, yeah, refused to get on their spiritual journey. Somebody knows that they're not going to have some type of new beginning. October could be significant. October the 13th, October the 17th. So something could take place by October. Uh, yeah, but it's something about, yeah, something going down. Somebody can't move. Somebody can't travel. Somebody can't do nothing. So somebody got to sit still or something like that. Or something about, yeah, somebody can't. Yeah, somebody didn't come forward or something like that. But I feel like because this taking the stand card is here, everybody are go is going to know whatever this is. Whether it's a deep, a deep dark secret or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, yeah, all the lies that somebody or some people were, you know, conversating about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but somebody, yeah, they took the bait. They they basically, yeah, I feel like that they're also in that despair energy because, yeah, they know that they, yeah, are the yo-yo the -yo on at the end of somebody's stream. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody possibly trying to give somebody a gift to possibly, yeah, go down the wrong path or something with this journey card in the reverse or you know like get off of their path or you know stop walking in their purpose or you know whatever the situation is so somebody yeah needs to be aware of that as well i was just watching this talking here yeah the child flew straight out October the 18th could be significant. So something about, yeah, watching a child. Or something about, yeah, a child. So 
or somebody yeah was just being childish and immature and now they're finding out what yeah their child childish immature ways get them give me one more And it's something about, yeah, something happening to a child under somebody else's watch or something like that. But I did pick up on, yeah, somebody, um, uh, somebody possibly receiving some type of message of concern about a child. Mm -mm. I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to find out that somebody touched a child inappropriately or something like that. I don't know, but we got the main female, so there's a main female that, yeah, is being watched. And something about, yeah, a conversation about, yeah, somebody watching a main female. Uh, somebody needs definitely needs to pay attention to their surroundings. Uh, February the 10th, February the 17th, February the 13th could be significant. Uh, somebody could be a cuss baby out here, so somebody could be born, you know, like on the, the 13th of the month, the 17th of the month. October the 2nd could be significant. The years 2010, 2013, and 2017 could be significant. I'm picking up like 2010, 2013, 2017 could be like cases that somebody has against them. Mm -hmm. Somebody can't, somebody, yeah, they, somebody can't travel. So, so, so somebody, all somebody could do possibly is watch somebody's social media because yeah, somebody can't journey towards somebody. Mm-hmm. But it's also too, yeah, somebody definitely could be taking the stand and they could be telling the truth. And this could have something to do, yeah, with an undercover or something like that. Or somebody wants to tell somebody the truth that they're an undercover or they're an informant or something. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely could have to pay out a lot of money. Or something about, yeah, some money. Somebody possibly, yeah, wants to go to mediation or something like that. Somebody, Somebody's about to receive some sudden wealth or something like that. November the 30th could be significant. Somebody could be seeing the angel number 211. Something about, yeah, 1130 a.m. or 1130 p.m. So that could be a time that somebody uh, goes to court. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely can be expecting something. And I feel like it's a new beginning. Because this new beginnings card is a 28, which breaks down to a 10. Somebody could possibly be getting married with the altar here. Or somebody uh, is already married. There definitely could be a wealthy man that, yeah, could be trying to get somebody to marry them. But I feel like whoever I feel like it's a it's a scheme, it's a plot. It's yeah. Somebody's trying to stop somebody from being on their spiritual journey or stop somebody from walking in their 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 calling or walking in their purpose or something like that is what I'm picking up. Somebody somebody needs to, yeah, pay attention to, the, to their surroundings, trust their intuition. But there is somebody that has a lot of things that they want to say to somebody, but they don't believe that, but they don't think that somebody will believe them. Mm hmm. Something about Friday the 13th is very significant. Mm hmm. Wow. On the the bottom at the bottom of the deck, it says, "Have my kids." It says, "I want to have a family with you. I know you be an amazing parent, and I dream of the day I can experience raising a family together." I feel like somebody needs to, yeah, be aware, because I just don't like this gift card here. But then we have the journey card that came out in the reverse. Yeah. So I feel like this is like a decoy or this is like a distraction, whoever this person is, wealthy man or not. 
if it's it, it, well I can't say it's the wealthy man because I forgot I'm so focused on this wealthy man that I don't even I didn't remember I didn't realize that we had this yeah karmic masculine here so somebody could be you know what I'm saying meeting somebody and it could be you know a wealthy man or you know a wealthy woman or whatever the situation is um there is somebody that possibly yeah wants to tell somebody some stuff but yeah it's kind of like they don't believe that somebody they don't know if somebody will believe them but i feel like it's because yeah they're coming to lie straight up in somebody's face so it's like they're going to act like they want to tell the truth but they really just going to lie mm-hmm but it's something about, yeah, a lawyer, an undercover official. Somebody definitely is about to manifest something. So somebody is, yeah, somebody has told the universe exactly what they wanted and somebody's about to receive it. If this is truth, yeah, somebody's about to receive some truth. Mm hmm. Yep. But there goes that distraction. So someone is in the middle. Someone's trying to sabotage uh, this. So somebody needs to be aware. So I feel like somebody is going to come in contact with somebody. And it could be, yes, yeah, somebody that somebody manifested. Or somebody that somebody that, that has been manifesting somebody. And I feel like, yeah, whoever this uh, karmic masculine energy is, yeah, they're trying to sabotage it. Or they're going to. So it's kind of like. This person, yeah, could have already came in contact with this person, and this could have this person could have told this person, like, yeah, I got my eye on divine feminine and divine masculine, you know. I feel like whoever this masculine energy is, they possibly know this wealthy man, or whoever this man is. I ain't gonna say that they a wealthy man. I ain't gonna say that they not. But uh, I feel like yeah, they done had conversation because it's something about yeah, conversation, and I feel like uh. Whoever this is, this, this karmic masculine, they definitely, yeah, could have tried to lie to this person to make them believe that, yeah, the divine feminine, divine masculine, yeah, they're unloyal. You know what I'm saying? They got legal issues. Uh, you know, they're the reason why, yeah, I done got locked up or they don't, they're the reason why I done caught all these cases or, yeah, they have the gift that keeps on giving or, you know what I'm saying? A lot of lies were told and I feel like, the, yeah, whoever this person is, they don't care. But it's also too, yeah, whoever this person is, they could be the one that could be trying to tell a divine feminine and divine masculine some stuff. I feel like somebody just, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware because I just don't like the energy. It's something about, yeah, this person coming in thinking uh, that their money is going to, yeah, have somebody to drop to their knees or have somebody to, yeah, just to fall in their arms and, you know, uh, take me away or something like that yeah somebody just needs to be patient just a few more months good things come to those who wait so it's something about yeah distractions 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 and i've already picked up on that distraction energy earlier today in the in the other message this journey in the reverse here we have challenges so yeah somebody is trying to cause somebody challenges but it's also too yeah somebody's trying to cause somebody to make a decision that they really don't need to make because i feel like yeah somebody's already made a decision somebody's already did some type of inner healing and so with that being said i feel like that um somebody has already healed Possibly from whoever this uh, karmic masculine is or karmic feminine energy is. And so I feel like the, yeah, whoever this is, they're trying to get somebody to make a decision that they've already made. So it's kind of like, yeah, this person, they're going to be like, yeah, who you going to pick? Who do you love? Or something like that. Look, Mercury retrograde at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Somebody definitely needs to, yeah. Uh, there's some, some issues with some electronics that's going to take place. Um... Possibly, yeah, when it comes to people's cars, uh, yeah, communication, when it comes to like contracts or signing paperwork, yeah, somebody needs to pay attention, review everything, you know what I'm saying? Don't leave uh, no stone unturned. Because, yeah, on the top of this main female's head, it's the number two. So it's something about, yeah, making a decision between two. But I feel like somebody's already made the decision about one.
Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody definitely could be focused on money and their finances. Their main priority is financial stability. So I feel like that if that's who, you know, whoever this message is for, continue to stay focused on your career and finances. Continue to, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever your main priority is, it is. Yeah, keep that your main priority because I feel like somebody's trying to make, get somebody to make a decision, try to make them the priority or something like that. And something about, yeah, somebody wanting to, yeah, basically trying to get somebody to get off of their journey or get off of their path or whatever the situation is. Mm -hmm. Somebody could definitely try to use some type of emotional manipulation to do so as well. Yeah, somebody needs to trust their intuition because the red flags that uh, somebody ignores definitely will bite them um, in the end. Somebody, uh, somebody, somebody could, you know, run into their soulmate with this You're My Soulmate card. But it's also too, yeah. A karmic soulmate out here. I don't like this at all. Especially because somebody's already told the universe exactly what they wanted. And somebody else being asked to be patient. You know, wait just a few more months. Uh, good things come to those who wait. And we definitely was picking up on October, November time frame. And so it's kind of, so Mercury retrograde, we talked about Mercury retrograde in the message earlier. And so, yeah, Mercury retrograde comes August the 4th. So there are people that are trying to come in now. And they're, yeah, they're going to call try to cause challenges with somebody. They're trying to get in between somebody's, you know what I'm saying? Basically, yeah, them and God, pretty much. Yeah, they're trying to stop somebody from being on their spiritual journey. And somebody, yeah, they want somebody to, they're going to want somebody to make that decision, like, immediately. Somebody definitely could try to get somebody to move with them or, you know, let me let me whisk you out, you know, to the to the islands and, you know, all this. Mm -mm. And this is somebody that, yeah, possibly is dealing with somebody else as well. Or one of these people could be dealing with somebody else or both of these people. Somebody going to try to say that they're somebody's soulmate. And granted, somebody possibly could be somebody's soulmate, but I feel like that. Somebody needs to just stay focused on themselves. Somebody could definitely be at a distance from somebody. Yeah, somebody possibly is yes, realizing that they are somebody's soulmate now. But it's after they were unloyal and did some unloyal things to somebody. This is possibly somebody that tried to put somebody in a third party. Yeah, somebody needs to move on because yeah, somebody is unavailable. It's a they're they're a waste of time. Yeah, it's over. So somebody yeah has already yeah. They've already you know uh, made it plain and clear. So this is somebody that possibly just is in denial. I'm also picking up too that there that one of these people, yeah. Right when I was just about to say it, it this card came out. So one of these people, yeah, they they definitely had another person that they were dealing with, and so yeah, they they possibly are now seeing that that person is unavailable or that that person is a waste of time, and so yeah, they could be leaving that person, yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like whoever this person is. I feel like whoever's why I feel like the wealthy man ain't focused on money. You know what I'm saying? They're not an opportunist. But I feel like whoever this karmic masculine energy is, they could be because it's two people watching. So, and we have a karmic masculine here because that's that energy that I picked up. Even though this is the divine masculine card, with it being beside with, you know what I'm saying? These hoes ain't loyal and the law, and yeah, it's going down and being watched. Yeah, that's definitely a karmic masculine. Whoever this is, they possibly need lawyer money because something about, yeah, somebody being focused on money. I feel like that somebody is focused on their main priority, but there is somebody else that's focused on somebody, somebody, whoever this main female is or, you know, change, change it to a main male. But they're focused on this main 
female or this main male's money. But we have a wealthy man out here, so this wealthy man wouldn't be focused on the main female or the main male's money. I feel like whoever this wealthy man is, they possibly don't believe in the same things that this main female or this main male believes in. And so, yeah, they're going to try to buy uh, this main female, main male out of their journey or out of their spiritual, you know what I'm saying, their spiritual, uh, yeah, they're going to try to stop somebody's spiritually, spiritual awakening or they're going to try to stop uh, somebody's destiny or something like that. I feel like both of them are karmic. You know what I mean? But it, but whoever this wealthy man is, they possibly are used to, you know, them basically flashing their money in front of people's faces. And yeah, people just flock to them. Mm -hmm. Somebody somebody could definitely have uh, sexuality issues. Mm-mm. Yeah, somebody, somebody's only focused on money and sex with this intimacy card. So this could be like one of them is just, yeah, an opportunist. You know what I'm saying? Looking for, a, you know, a way to come up. And there's another one that's just looking at somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a trophy that they put on their shelf and they take it off, you know what I'm saying? When they want to show somebody off. Yeah, they just want to pay to play or, you know what I mean? I don't know. But this is crazy. Mm-hmm. One of these people, somebody could have, yeah, had sexual relations with. So, uh, one of these people could be reminiscing on, you know, the sexual relations that they could have had with somebody. Some type of final decision is being covered up or some type of final decision is being made. And so that could be where somebody receives some type of letter or something like that. But it's also too, yeah, going back to, yeah, somebody trying to pressure somebody to make a decision. I feel like, yeah, if somebody has to make a decision, they better make they, 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 uh, they next decision, their best decision. Somebody could be born in 1977. Whoever this is is born in 1977. They could be at a distance from somebody. Somebody could be a Gemini or have Gemini in their chart. Mm -hmm. Something about, yeah, an older lover or somebody's making a final decision. Yeah, I'm picking up like um, sugar daddy energy or sugar mama energy as well. And I feel like, yeah, there's some who, one of these people, they, they have been lingering. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, yeah, somebody possibly has moved on. Maybe this person feels like that uh, they didn't have any closure or they need closure or something like that. So, yeah, the best thing for this person to do is open their curtains and close them or open their shades and, and close them back or something like that. Open their door and close them. That's their closure. Yeah. I feel like whoever this person is, they, yeah, they basically dogged somebody or, you know, they, yeah, they drug somebody's name through the mud or something like that. So what would they still be lingering around for? But I feel like it's because, yeah, going back to that despair energy. So this is the same person that possibly, yeah, could have saw somebody at their, at their lowest. Now somebody, you know, was at a comfortable level in their life. And yeah, now somebody wants to come back around. No. Nah. Or yeah, just past people in general, because that's what's at the bottom of the deck. So this could be two past people. This could be one of them could be wealthy. One of them possibly ain't. But either way it goes, yeah, I feel like somebody needs to, yeah, when it comes to past people, move on. It's a waste of time. It's over. It been over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's already changed. Somebody's already, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, the new, the 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 new version of them. But it's something about, yeah, somebody wants to change their conversation or, or something about, yeah, somebody trying to change somebody's mind. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an M. 
But it's also, too, going back to, yeah, somebody basically is seeing somebody's change. They're seeing somebody's transformation. Mm -mm. So somebody don't want to fight. So there is somebody that possibly uh, wants to communicate with somebody, but they don't want to fight. I feel like, you know, whoever this message is for, I feel like you like fight for what? You know, this person, acts, it's giving me like, yeah, somebody in this situation acts like that whoever's resonating with this message owes them something. And whoever whoever's resonating with this message don't owe them a damn thing. Mm -mm. We got divorce papers. So there's somebody in this situation that possibly was married. So it's giving me like that wealthy man energy. So they possibly, yeah, want to wave some divorce papers in somebody's face. You know what I'm saying? And be like, yeah, uh, now that I'm divorced, let me take you out. Let me take you to the islands. Mm. So when it comes to this final decision, either this person has made a final decision to get a, a divorce or somebody, or there's a final decision that's been made. And so, yeah, somebody's divorce could be being granted. But at the end of the day, I feel like, yeah, this person possibly, yeah, they could have in this information station because it's books on this um, uh, on that uh, that that bookshelf. So, yeah, it's giving me like readings as well. So somebody could have could have gotten some readings. So somebody's been covering up the fact that they've been getting readings and that's possibly or or yeah, somebody could be a tarot card reader. And yeah, somebody's been, you know, covering themselves up, you know, so somebody's been watching somebody, you know on social media and if it's not that yeah somebody's just been withholding the fact that they've been you know getting readings and they've been basically yeah listening to some stuff that uh that that possibly is true and one of them one one thing that they possibly found out was that yeah somebody's their soulmate but again <laughs> what do that mean when somebody has already realized that somebody is unavailable that they're a waste of time somebody's already said it's over Mm -mm. Yeah, we got guilty by association. So there could be some type, some type of final decision when it comes to some type of guilt, guilty by association case or something like that. Somebody that could be born in 1977 could be found guilty by association. Or the fact of the matter is, I feel like that... Uh, because we got all these cases. I picked up a lot of cases that somebody could be dealing with. And so, yeah, somebody that somebody could be getting a divorce from could be, yeah, that could be a part of the information. Threatening them that they're going to expose some stuff that they could, yeah, so somebody could get charged with guilt, being guilty by association or something about, yeah, somebody could have already, you know, thought that they knew it all and exposed some stuff. And that person could be being charged with, you know, being guilty by association. So, yeah, somebody definitely could have some type of arrest warrant. Mm -mm. Wow, yeah, somebody, somebody definitely is going to receive an official letter if they haven't already. But it's going to explain a lot with this information station. A Gemini could uh, receive official letter or... Uh, a Gemini is sending out the official letter. Somebody's first mother or last name can start with a C. We got August the 16th at the bottom of the deck. So somebody could receive uh, this official letter on August the 16th. But it's something about, yeah, some type of change taking place on August the 16th or by... August the 16th. Why is this uh, Gemini here? Yeah, somebody's already done some type of cord cutting ceremony. Mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to change somebody's mind. Somebody also possibly did a cord cutting ceremony when it comes to some type of soulless being. So maybe the divorce is, you know, the the cut the cord cording cord cutting ceremony. I feel like regardless, yeah, it's it's too late or something like that. 
it's it's kind of like yeah this person thought that they were on their time but they were yeah but they didn't realize that they were that yeah divine timing was at play because if this person is somebody's um soulmate then yeah um Yeah, this person is a part of somebody's destiny. But at the same time, I feel like, the, yeah, this person, they, they done did some stuff that done got, yeah, basically they delayed destiny. So they think that they get to start and stop time. And the fact of the matter is, this person thinks that they're coming to change somebody's mind. No, somebody's trusting their intuition and somebody is yeah, paying attention to the red flags, just as the card says. Or somebody needs to. Because, yeah, the fact of the matter is, yeah, this person, whoever this person is or whoever these people are, because I feel like, the, yeah, they're both, that both of them, neither one of them have somebody's best interest at heart. Neither one of these people possibly are on their spiritual journey or these people, yeah, they're going to cause somebody, they're going to distract somebody, they're going to get somebody unfocused, you know what I mean? But somebody definitely could have done some type of cord cutting ceremony when it comes to a soulless being. Or, or somebody possibly, yeah, needs to do a cut cord cutting ceremony or do another one. Somebody's first word or last name can start with a, a T. Mm -mm. Somebody, somebody, yeah, could have done some type of mental spell. Or the fact of the matter is, that's what somebody's trying to do to get somebody to change their mind. So, if somebody is filing for a divorce or it's already filed for a divorce, yeah, somebody somebody is doing a mental spell on somebody to change their mind. If 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 it's if, if a divorce has already taken place, yeah, somebody possibly yeah could be trying to project some type of mental spell on whoever, you know, this message is for. Mm -mm. If somebody has already did a cord cutting ceremony and somebody tried to put a spell on somebody, um, it, it definitely backfired. And somebody's definitely dealing with some major issues, if that's the case. Yeah. Somebody could receive an official letter and it definitely could be about making some type of important decision because this important decision card fell on top of the official letter. Mm-hmm. But somebody's also, yeah, did a mental spell or trying to mess with somebody's mind. Yeah, to basically um, cause somebody to not be able to make some type of important decision. But I feel like I'm also picking up too that, yeah, whoever this is, because I feel like somebody has already done some type of mental spell. And yeah, um, there was immediate change. So somebody could literally be, yeah, out of their mind, off the rocker right now. That's another reason why somebody possibly could have to make some type of important decision. So it could definitely have something to do with the kid going back to the beginning of the message. So, yeah, something about, yeah, somebody not paying attention to their kid or somebody allowing somebody else to watch the kid and something happens to their kid and all yada yada and blase blase. We got a cancer. So you could be a cancer or have cancer in your chart or there's a cancer involved. We got insurance. So something about an insurance policy. Somebody could receive an official letter and it could be about an insurance policy. We did see that sudden wealth card. Yeah, somebody's unloyal friend is involved. Something about, yeah, somebody's um, covering up some stuff. When it comes to a unloyal friend or unloyal friend covering up some stuff or uncovering some stuff, uh, somebody definitely is about to receive a blessing. For sure. Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely could be guilty by association when it, com when it comes to some type of reckless endangerment charge. Somebody, yeah, has to make an important decision when it comes to some type of reckless endangerment charge. It could have something to do with, yeah, housing a child or, you know, some children. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody definitely could be, yeah, trying to get somebody, you know, to be guilty by association when it comes to, yeah, some type of reckless endangerment. Somebody definitely could be receiving some type of eviction 
notice. So this could come in the form of an official letter. Mm -mm. So something could take place in somebody's home. Some type of reckless endangerment could take place in somebody's home. If somebody went repeating some stuff that uh, that other people said, yeah, I feel like uh, whoever this person is, they're possibly yeah being charged with guilty with guilt by association. Mm hmm. There was a lot of talking because yeah, conversation. The lion Leo conversating with a whole lot of people. Uh, the unloyal friend, whoever this, whoever this person is, or these people are, yeah. But it's also too, yeah. Somebody, somebody was sitting around, you know, what I'm saying, talking about all their business, including about a main female or a main male, and that's literally why people are watching a a, a main female or a main male. Mm hmm. The uh, for sure past people, but there could be, you know, like um, people that uh, somebody possibly doesn't know. It could be one or two people that somebody doesn't know that could be watching them as well. But yeah. Um, somebody's definitely about to receive some good news for sure. Somebody's hidden lover could have, uh, some health issues or something like that. But it's also too something about, yeah, again, going back to, yeah, people, um, threatening to reveal some, some stuff. Somebody definitely is trying to manifest somebody for sure. We have a divine masculine. So there definitely could be a divine masculine that is manifesting somebody. Somebody also has to make some type of important decision when it comes to some type of assault allegation. So it goes back to, yeah, when I picked up on something about a kid being touched. Somebody, somebody, yes, people are going to find out that somebody was living a lie. So everything was a lie or or a lot of stuff that, yeah, people were saying or, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, this could be, um, yeah, somebody that somebody was married to. They could have just been lying to get charges filed on somebody or, you know, they were lying and saying that, yeah, somebody uh, assaulted a kid or, you know, whatever the situation is. Somebody, yeah, somebody's been living a lie for a very long time. Or the fact of the matter is, no, somebody has been living a lie. They've been covering it up. And they've been, yeah, being unloyal to somebody. So, yeah, this is somebody that possibly has been in somebody's life for a long time, whoever this masculine energy is. And again, this divine masculine card came out. So either somebody's manifesting a new divine counterpart or it is a divine masculine, but they're not too divine to me. You know what I mean? But this person, they definitely could have been under some type of mental spell. So this could be, yeah, like brainwashed is what I'm picking up. Mind control, you know, Debo. So, yeah, something about a big ass bully. And I feel like maybe that's what it is. Maybe the big ass bully was was holding a lot of stuff over this person's head. Maybe that's maybe that's what they were withholding, you know. But but yeah, this person yeah they were living a lie point blank in the sentence ends and period. Mm -mm. So it, it definitely could go back to yeah somebody being undercover somebody you know what I'm saying liking the same sex or something like that. Yep. Somebody revealed a lot of personal details, but it's also too, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is about to uncover some personal details that somebody didn't want to be uncovered. Mm-mm. Yep, we have warning. So somebody could have been warned, you know what I mean, when it comes to somebody's personal details or somebody could have been warned, you know what I mean, when it comes to like the courts or something like that. 
or something about, yeah, somebody being warned about, yeah, cutting a cord or something like that. I feel like, yeah, somebody thought that they were on their own time. And I feel like the, yeah, divine timing was definitely at play. It's still at play. Woo wee. We got funeral here. So something about, yeah, an important decision when it comes to a funeral. So there could be somebody that was warned. And it definitely got something to do with, uh, you know, doing spells. Because we do have this mental spell out here. Or something about, yeah, somebody's ancestors, you know, could have si could have sent out, you know, like a warning. Or like, yeah, um, some type of, yeah, warning shot or something like that. Somebody's definitely about to pass away for sure. Mm -mm. Something about, yeah, somebody possibly wanting to communicate with somebody. Possibly to tell them about a funeral or something. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody threatening somebody's life. Warning somebody that if yeah they they expose some personal details yeah that it's gonna be their funeral or something like that so maybe somebody was recording somebody and maybe yeah somebody's getting charged with reckless endangerment or whatever the situation is somebody definitely could meet somebody new or somebody has already met somebody new uh but yeah somebody definitely could have stole some some money some, uh some mail I was getting ready to say some money so maybe somebody did steal some money out of um somebody's mailbox or something. Mm -mm. Yeah, some type of mental spell. Yeah, boomerang. So a return to sender. And so whoever this is, yeah, they could be so out of their mind that yeah, a funeral is 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 going to be had. Mm -mm. People are crazy. So it's something about, yeah, whoever this person is, maybe somebody told them that they were leaving, they wanted a divorce. And and maybe somebody didn't think somebody was going to follow through. And, and yeah, this person could follow through. And that person, you know, maybe they, they, they kind of lost their mind a little bit. And they was like, I know what I'll do. I'll do a mental spell. You know, it backfired. Well, really a boomerang. They returned right back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody definitely yeah was threatening somebody. Somebody was definitely trying to intimidate somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but somebody needs to be aware because somebody definitely is coming in to, to sweet talk them. Whoever this person is, they could be at a distance from somebody. And yeah, they definitely are, yeah, covering up some stuff. Somebody definitely could be under a love spell. So we we saw a mental spell, so we, we, there goes that love spell. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody, somebody needs to be aware. If there is any offers that come towards somebody, somebody definitely doesn't need to take this offer. Uh, it, it looks good, just like that gift card looks good, but I don't feel like it's a good offer. I keep seeing the blocked card at the bottom of the deck, so if somebody has somebody blocked out, somebody wants to wants them to unblock them. Mm -hmm. But somebody definitely yeah, could have somebody on recording. So that's that energy that I just picked up. Somebody definitely could be making some type of announcement. Somebody could also be, yeah, revealing some stuff. So this could be the truth. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody basically, yeah, threatens somebody that if they uh, go forward with the, the uh, divorce or if they, you know what I'm saying, uh, don't make it right with them, they're possibly, yeah, going to, um, yeah, reveal some stuff. And something about, yeah, a third party or somebody having multiple lovers or something about, yeah, choices, a love triangle. Yeah, somebody's looking somebody up. Somebody's researching somebody. Somebody's studying somebody. Somebody's trying to get some info on somebody. So it's kind of like, yeah, with that personal details, 
somebody so mad and out of their mind that they're just yeah they're swinging on anybody and everybody that comes that they come in contact with or that they know has been in contact with whoever this person is so that's another reason why somebody yeah needs to stay away from whoever this person is mm -hmm. we got fake friends so somebody's fake friends are watching a, a main female or a main male but it's also too yeah somebody has a record has some fake friends uh, re uh, on a recording or something like that. So this could be like, yeah, a part of somebody's discovery. You know how like in a criminal case they have a discovery. So yeah, somebody could find out that their fake ass friends, yeah, were covering up the fact that they did that they were unloyal. Something about yeah, telling, snitching, as well. This person, yeah, maybe they're divorcing or they're getting away from the person that possibly partnered up with these fake friends to, you know what I'm saying, uh, basically, yeah, snitch on this person. Or it's kind of like, yeah, uh, the person, yeah, so somebody basically was, yeah, sleeping with the enemy is what I'm picking up. So the same person that, that one of these people was sleeping with is the same person that was going back to other people, possibly sleeping with them somebody's friends or whatever but yeah a situation is definitely about to explode shit's about to pop off so yeah somebody's so yeah all it took yeah somebody's fake ass friend yeah they was up in somebody's ear and i feel like the yeah they they these two people they got wine or whatever in they cup yeah they was just a sipping and somebody possibly yeah sweet talk somebody's damn pennies off mm-hmm and look at the bottom of the deck Pregnancy test. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we have a love child, but it's in the reverse. So, yeah, it's kind of giving me like hate child. So, somebody definitely could have gotten pregnant on purpose. Wow. Yep, the game is over. But it came out in the reverse. So, yeah, somebody doesn't want the game to be over. But the game is over. Somebody, yeah, somebody's in massive regrets. Because of all the unloyal stuff that they've done to somebody because of their doggish ass ways. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to a real one. Yeah. So, somebody definitely could be trying to come in and kiss ass. So, somebody needs to be very, very aware of whoever uh, this is. But I feel like that, um,. Somebody definitely, yeah, could uh, meet somebody new. And maybe it is this this person that's this wealthy man energy or wealthy woman energy. I'm just picking up, like, not really wealthy man. I mean, they could, but it's like, yeah, well-to-do, you know what I'm saying? Put together individual that somebody possibly, yeah, could meet. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Emotions are definitely running high when it comes to uh, these people. So somebody needs to be very aware. And yep, there's a new love cycle that's beginning for somebody. But somebody definitely did try to cover up that they started some that they met somebody new or something like that. Mm -mm. Wow, I feel like yeah, whoever this person is again. They're the ones that's in denial or they're the ones that's living in fantasy world mentality. I feel like somebody's already realized that yeah, they're unavailable. So so whoever this person is, yeah, they, they have options. They have choice because we did see that third party card, you know what I'm saying? So it's something about yeah, this person still having options or something like that. Or they're possibly gonna try to say that they don't, but they do. Maybe they're gonna try to wave some divorce papers in somebody's hand, but they still have other people that they're dealing with. Somebody definitely could, yeah, receive a subpoena to court as well. Whoever this message is for, just know that there that that there are some answers that are coming. Mm -mm. I'm also picking up too that yeah, if somebody um you know starts a new love cycle, meets somebody new or whatever, somebody needs to keep it on the hush. Somebody don't need to tell nobody. Mm -hmm. 
somebody to somebody yeah there are some answers coming but yeah somebody's definitely going to receive some bad news mm -mm. Or somebody has already received some bad news somebody we we saw august the 16th so somebody could re receive some bad news by august the 16th yeah somebody's gonna receive some bad news when it comes uh to a psychic vampire so that could be the one um yeah the funeral situation we have peacemaker the one that puts out fires before they escalate so i feel like that that energy could be whoever you know this message is for i feel like yeah you could have basically walked away from somebody to keep the peace as well but because yeah you're in that peacemaker energy or because you've always been in that peacemaker energy yeah something is is going to take place in an in, in an unusual way yeah some good news Yep. So, yeah, I feel like um, whoever this message is for, I feel like that, yeah, people have watched you be in this despair energy, whoever this person is. They've possibly watched you not have a job. They possibly watched you be homeless or, you know, uh, almost homeless or, you know, living with other people or, you know, they've watched you in, at your lowest. And now that you're in a comfortable position, they're really watching you. But when but but they basically kicked you while you were down or they laughed at you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So they laughed in the past, but they're crying now. And many people are struggling because of one person. It could be whoever this Lion Leo is. So there are many people that, yeah, possibly are getting subpoenaed to court. Yep. There's exaggerated combos that lead to the truth about the past. And they're not good. So, yeah, so this Lion Leo exaggerated a lot of conversations. They could have, yeah, lied on the stand. Exaggerated conversations, basically. But but I feel like, the, yeah, whatever these exaggerated, exaggerated conversations are, they basically, yeah, are leading to the truth. And it is about the past. So, there definitely could be, yeah, going back to, yeah, the, the two, 2010 and the 2017 and the 2013. Mm-hmm. Something about February the 10th, February the 13th, February the 17th. I don't know if I said that. Mm-hmm. Wow. So one person done got a whole lot of people in trouble. Trouble. I feel like it's whoever that uh, Debo is, whoever that bully is. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, regardless if, yeah, somebody, because I feel like, yeah, with that bad news, somebody possibly, yeah, could bring some bad news. We did see that message of concern. So somebody possibly, yeah, could reach out to somebody wanting somebody to feel sorry for them or something like that. Or, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is going to be like, I, I have some stuff that I want to tell you, you know. But I feel like that, yeah, somebody's coming to lie straight up in somebody's face. So somebody, yeah, they don't need to waste their time. It's something about, yeah, somebody starting a new love cycle. Yeah, this is somebody that talks the talk, but they can't walk the walk. So ain't no sense in talking if you can't talk and walk and chew gum at the same damn time. I feel like, yeah, this person, somebody has outgrown this person or these people or whatever. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be seeing a lot of angel numbers, a lot of signs and symbols. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the yeah, even these people have been, you know, seeing a lot of angel numbers, a lot of signs and symbols. But something about, yeah, somebody needed to pay attention to the red flags, but also pay attention to the signs and symbols. Because I feel like that they're basically letting somebody know, you know what I'm saying, what's to come. They're they're basically, yeah, telling somebody to not waste their time, you know what I'm saying. They're basically, yeah, exposing people without, you know what I'm saying, all the extras. It's something about, yeah, some the angel numbers, the signs and symbols are somebody's spiritual gift. Somebody somebody is full of anger. Somebody definitely could be abusing people. Somebody definitely, yeah, they're they're in rage. Mm hmm 
And and whoever this person is, they're they're definitely jealous of whoever's resonating with this message. So th whoever this karmic masculine is, they could be jealous of whoever's resonating with this with this message. Mm -mm. Something about yeah, somebody having a history of short short term relationships. So it goes back to yeah, whoever this person is, they still dealing with people anyway, or they're dealing with somebody new and they're trying to keep it covered up. Yeah, something about yeah, this person is an opportunist, or you know, they don't they don't have somebody's best interest at heart. Somebody wants to be yeah, somebody wants somebody to be stuck in a cycle of making up and breaking up and i feel like somebody's already ended that cycle yeah to start a new love cycle mm -hmm. yeah whoever this person is yeah they they talk the talk but they can't walk the walk this person is a promise breaker mm -hmm. and whoever this person is they definitely don't want somebody to have a new love life so it goes back to yeah this person you know what i'm saying possibly yeah exaggerating conversations um to possibly yeah get people to you know to look at somebody like ill or to you know what i'm saying to run away from somebody or to you know what i'm saying uh i feel like some of these exaggerated conversations they have led to some type of legal situations mm -hmm. so somebody is going to find out who uh, masterminded the plan to basically yeah stop Try to stop somebody from having a love life. Yeah, with that mental spell, it's giving me like, yeah, trying to cause somebody to have some type of mental breakdown or to cause somebody to, yeah, go crazy or to cause somebody, yeah, to look like that they're angry or they're abusive or they're full of rage or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yep. So whatever legal issues that, 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 that have come about because of some type of plan that was masterminded, yeah, there's people that are trying to out one another to get out of trouble. These are past people. And it's something about, yeah, past people working with past people or past, or this person working with pe people of somebody's past or, yeah, fake friends or something like that. It's too much, yeah. There's pointing fingers and placing blame going on. And these people are unaware that you know it's them. So, yeah, somebody already knows that, yeah, people are, un yeah, somebody's unavailable. They're a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody's has already ended cycles. Somebody has already, yeah, done, co done cord cutting ceremonies. Mm hmm I just saw a karmic family at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's karmic family could be involved or somebody's karmic family members. Yeah, somebody or some people are trying to deflect responsibility. Mm. But we did see, yeah, that reckless endangerment and yeah, the guilty by association. Yeah. Somebody's about to go through a, a spiritual upgrade. And I feel like this spiritual upgrade, yeah, definitely, uh, it definitely could come with, yeah, a new love cycle. Mm-hmm. Wow. We got a Pisces, Aries, Cusper. So you could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, or there's a Pisces, Aries, Cusper involved. It slid out, so I'm going to put it back. So there could be a Pisces Aries customer that could be trying to slide through. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, needs to, needs to know that life is full of ups and downs, successes and failures, joys and sorrows. Yeah, and acceptance is the key. So I feel like, the, yeah, somebody, basically somebody knows that because somebody's went through mostly all of this is what I'm picking up and so yeah somebody has accepted them for who they are you know as far as themselves so somebody yeah somebody basically yeah the 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 ups and downs the the successes and failures the joys and sorrows have made somebody who they are today and that's why somebody is as strong as they are that's why somebody yeah can withstand you know any storm that comes against them but yeah, there is somebody that's using people around them for their selfish reasons. And I feel like it's that person that thinks that they, yeah, want to be available for somebody now. 
Mm-mm. Wow. What else, Spirit? What else, Holy Spirit? What else, what else, what else? Yeah, we got an Aquarius. So you could be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. There's an Aquarius that doesn't want somebody to have a love life. There's an Aquarius that's using people around them for their selfish reasons. Whoever this Aquarius is, they're, they're a habitual liar. And they, and they definitely lack empathy for others. So somebody needs to uh, be aware because I feel like that, yeah, somebody's trying to act like that they're somebody's ally, but they're not. Mm-hmm. Yep. And somebody definitely is, yeah, doing mental illusion spells, trying to cause amnesia. So with that being said, if that's the case, then somebody, yeah, definitely could have amnesia. Somebody's trying to get somebody to forget the past or trying to forget or trying to get somebody to forget some stuff. Maybe somebody's scared. Maybe somebody feels like that somebody's going to get a subpoena to court. Maybe somebody is going to get a subpoena to court. Yeah, when it comes to this reckless endangerment. So somebody yeah, is trying to... And maybe somebody's also doing this mental illusion spell, you know, to cause somebody to just not have memories from the past or something like that. But especially when it comes to this reckless endangerment. And there is somebody that's exposing info on social media. So that's how... Somebody has gotten people caught. Mm -mm. And yeah, something about, yeah, the personal uh, details. So not only was is this person exposing, you know, some things, yeah, to incriminate themselves and others, but they're also exposing personal details about somebody's life, which could be whoever, you know, this message is for. This is the same habitual liar that masterminded, you know, the plan. Mm -mm. Somebody possibly could be uh, a, being about to be awarded with some type of settlement. Mm -mm. Maybe that's why, you know, this person is trying to, you know, get to somebody or something like that. Because it's something about, yeah, some type of exaggerated conversations. So I feel like that those exaggerated conversations, either they they can lead to, you know, like a, a criminal charge or it could be like a civil suit or something like that. But somebody could also be yeah, exposing some info on social media about somebody else being awarded some type of settlement, which could cause people to, yeah, have their eye on somebody. But this could be a lie as well. So like this habitual liar, yeah, they could have just lied and said that somebody had all this money to cause people to watch somebody. You know what I'm saying? Basically for people to plan and plot, you know what I'm saying? To rob somebody or whatever the situation is. We have a Pisces Aries Cusper. So there goes that Pisces Aries Cusper again. So there's somebody that wants to explain themselves. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody wanting to have a conversation. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to lie to somebody. That's what I really feel like. I feel like if somebody knows somebody's about to be awarded some type of settlement or something like that, that's literally the only reason why somebody wants to explain themselves. Uh, they're looking for an opportunity to get in where they don't fit in. Yep. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out somebody's weaknesses so that, that so that they can overpower somebody. Mm -mm. What else? Somebody needs to know that there is an uh, ancestor among them. So somebody, yeah, is definitely uh, protected by an ancestor. Somebody also, yeah, needs to continue to lead by example. So I feel like, the, yeah, somebody's uh, ancestor is proud of them because, yeah, they're leading by example. They're not 
somebody's not um, entertaining the foolishness, somebody's not responding, somebody's not, you know, acting out of anger, you know what I'm saying, somebody's not acting out of rage, because I feel like, yeah, the stuff that, that people were doing or are doing, yeah, they would, yeah, I feel like, you know, any unawakened individual, anybody that's not on their spiritual journey, they possibly, yeah, would have been locked up, mm-hmm, wow, but yeah, Somebody or some people, they thrive all, all in secrecy. And so, yeah, what's done in the dark comes to the light. So there is somebody that's going through an ego death. And so I feel like it's it, whoever this person is is going through an ego death. That's the one that wants to explain themselves. But at the same time, I don't like it because um, this person is trying to figure out somebody's weaknesses so they... So they so that they can overpower somebody. And if it's not that person, it's, yeah, somebody else. It's two masculine energies out here, but it's karmics all through this shit. So, take it how it resonates. Mm hmm But, yeah, somebody definitely needs to continue to lead by example because I feel like that, yeah, somebody's defeated some people. Defeated a situation. Somebody definitely feels defeated. That because somebody yeah, is leading by example, we have a cancer, so there's a cancer involved, or you could be a cancer or have cancer in your chart. Somebody definitely could be defeated or could be being taken down by cancer. Mm -mm. Yep. But there goes that Judas. So somebody needs to be aware because whoever this is, they're definitely in Judas energy and we know what Judas do. Mm -mm. But I feel like, yeah, whoever this Judas is, they know that whoever's resonating with this message is highly intuitive. So I don't even know why they want to continue to mess with somebody. Yeah, and it came out a third time. Yeah, so you could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, or there's a Pisces, Aries, Cusper that's involved. Whoever this um, Pisces, Aries, Cusper is, that could be, um, yeah, in this Judas energy. We got a Capricorn, so there's a Capricorn involved. You could be a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. Yep. And it's something about, yeah. Somebody's been defeated or, yeah, somebody's being taken down in court. So something about, yeah, they pick up something about, yeah, something's going down. So, yeah, physical court. Something is going down in physical court. But we do have the taking the stand card out here. If somebody was doing some stuff on social media, like, posting pictures or videos or something like that. Yeah, it's being uh it's 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 being told through the courts that somebody better figure out how to take the stuff down, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, whoever whoever wanted to be in the in the in the fluck around and find out energy, yeah, they're about to find out whatever it is that they want to find out in that energy. There's a lot of people. I mean, let me not say a lot of people, but I mean, there's multiple people out here. So whoever these people are, they they keep asking about whoever's resonating with this message, but won't. But nobody will tell them anything. Whoever this is in this Judas energy, yeah, they keep asking people about somebody, but nobody will tell them nothing. Mm -hmm. So that literally could be why, yeah, somebody or some people were oversharing person somebody's personal information. It, it's to get attention. But it ain't, I feel like it, it ain't working. Somebody definitely could be, yeah, trying to drive them, they could be driving themselves crazy, you know what I'm saying, trying to defeat or take down somebody. So somebody could be uh, being awarded some type of settlement for, yeah, somebody exposing somebody's info on social media. Mm. 
Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yep, so whoever this habitual liar is, yeah, their job title is a liar. It could be a Capricorn or this person could have a Capricorn Capricorn in their chart. Yeah, people were running from the truth or they're trying to run from the truth. But yeah, you can't they can't run from it. Yeah, because some 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 type of exaggerated conversations. Yeah, basically are leading everybody to the truth or something like that. Yep, we got a wishy-washy snake out here. So there's a wishy-washy snake that somebody needs to be aware of as well. Yeah, we did see that past people energy. So uh, whoever this wishy-washy snake is, they, they they could have made matters worse by lying. This Judas energy, they could have made matters worse by lying. It's just a whole lot of habitual liars out here is what I'm picking up. Mm -mm. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit? Ah, somebody, somebody has a illegal recording of somebody. So going back to yeah, an undercover official, an undercover official could have an illegal recording of somebody, and that undercover official could have made matters worse by lying. Somebody definitely needs to continue to focus on positive thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Keep a positive mindset. That's also what I'm picking up. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah. Whoever this, uh, whoever this habitual liar is, I feel like whoever any of these people are, somebody needs to know that they're not on uh, on their side. Yeah, they're a traitor, or they're traitors. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we got a karmic feminine energy. So there's a karmic feminine energy that possibly is running from the truth. There's a karmic feminine energy that's not on somebody's side. They're a traitor. There's a karmic, femi karmic feminine energy that exaggerated um, some conversations. And basically, yeah, it's leading to the truth about the past. So they got themselves and many people stuck. Mm -hmm. So character is built on honesty, integrity, and, and authenticity. And, and these people don't have any of those char uh, characteristics. And so, yeah, whoever was involved, these people, yeah, especially whoever this karmic feminine is, they're blaming everyone except themselves. And that's no longer working. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, words hold power. So people should have, should have, yeah, they should have been careful of, of how they use their words. Mm -mm. Wow. And so, yeah, somebody's words basically, yeah, has caused them to get a subpoena to court and possibly, yeah, many other people. Yep, somebody's boundaries have been violated. I feel like somebody's boundaries have been being violated for some time now. And so, yeah, I feel like somebody's about to, yeah, receive um, what they deserve. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be being awarded some type of settlement for somebody's information being exposed on the Internet. Anything else, Holy Spirit? So, yeah, somebody just needs to expect the unexpected. Somebody's information was also used illegally. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like it's it, whoever this karmic feminine energy is, they're the one that masterminded this whole plan. But this is also, yeah, the person that lied on everyone around them, possibly including whoever this message is for. And if it's not this karmic feminine, it's it's that karmic masculine. Or it could be both of them. Mm hmm Or it, it, it goes back to, yeah, whoever this person is, that possibly is getting a divorce or whatever the situation is, yeah, they possibly could have been with this karmic feminine. And so, yeah, basically they were running from the truth of this karmic feminine. They can no longer run from the truth. 
the true colors are being shown of this karmic feminine. But yeah, this person, they wasted time. Time waits for no man or woman. So yeah, if this person was a part of somebody's destiny, yeah, they, they, um, they delayed destiny. But there is some type of blockage that is being removed. And so the blockage could be whoever this karmic feminine energy is or whoever these people are in general. There is somebody that wants to buy somebody's love, but money can't pay for karma. So it goes back to, yeah, whoever that is that wants to wave their money in front of somebody's face or whatever. This, yeah, this is crazy. Catastrophe is near. So people need to get ready for catastrophe while they're trying to, yeah, buy people's love or whatever the situation is. So yeah, somebody needs to, you know, expect the unexpected. I feel like um, somebody definitely could receive an official letter. This could have something to do with uh, some type of settlement. You know what I mean? Somebody could get some information about a settlement. But somebody definitely did expose somebody's info on social media. And I feel like, yeah, somebody or some people are being defeated in court if they haven't already been defeated. But we did see August the 16th, so something about August the 16th is definitely significant for somebody. So I feel like, yeah, somebody's uncle is involved. This could be the person that could be trying to, yeah, wave their money in somebody's face or something like that. It's all kind of weird stuff going on in this message, y'all. So y'all need to be aware of whoever, you know what I'm saying? If it don't look right, it don't sound right, it ain't right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could be a Libra, have Libra in your chart. But yeah, somebody's uncle could have been involved with trying to take pleasure in, in the humiliation of others. People judge somebody based off of other what other people said. And now they want to deflect responsibility. Because yeah, they done all got caught. But it's because of, of one simple one person. Somebody's first mother or last name could start with an R. Somebody's aunt is involved as well. Yeah, it's a lot of people that are involved. But I feel like that whoever this message is for, you know exactly who each and every one of these people are. And you know exactly, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the part that these people possibly played. And if not, then you're going to find out. So... I feel like yeah, somebody just needs to be patient because yeah, there there are answers that are answers that are coming for somebody. And as I always say, y'all, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher, and yeah, it's gonna work out. So with that being said, y'all, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.